Welcome back to the world that was, and today's battle between the Empire and the Orcs and Goblins. Welcome back and thanks for joining us on the channel again. Today sees a classic matchup on this winter frozen landscape of the Orcs and Goblins taking on the Empire. 2,000 point battle today. I'm going to roll for the scenario now. We'll be re-rolling if it's Watchtower or the one that we played last time, which was Meeting Engagement. So one, nice and simple, just battle line today. Let's take a look at both of the armies and we'll come back when we're deployed. This is 1996 points of Orcs and Goblins. For Lords, I have a level 3 Orc, Great Shaman, with a Dispel Scroll and a Talisman of Endurance. My General is a Black Orc, Big Boss, with an Enchanted Shield, Opal Amulet and the Sword of Battle. I then have a Big Boss Battle Standard Bearer with a Great Weapon and Glittering Scales. And a level 1 Savage Orc Shaman with Lucky Shrunken Head for the 5 plus ward save. He's leading a unit of 32 Savage Orc Vigans with additional hand weapons and full command. I have 20 Shortbow Knight Goblins with 3 Fanatics and full command. For special I have 20 Black Orcs carrying the standard of discipline and an Orc Boar Chariot. I then have a Doom Diver Catapult, a Rock Lobber and one Mangler Squig and a unit of 6 River Trolls. And this is 1998 points of Empire. I've got a level 4 Battle Wizard Lord. He's got a uh, Talisman of Endurance and a Dispel Scroll. Going to go Law of Shadow with him today, just for something a little bit different. Other heroes is a Captain of the Empire. He's my Battle Standard Bearer. He's got Biting Blade, Enchanted Shield and the Opal Amulet. Got an Engineer, just uh, as he comes. And two Warrior Priests, the first one on foot with the Army of Meteoric Iron. And the second one who's mounted, Great Weapon. White Cloak of Ulrich and a Barded Warhorse for him. In core, I've got a unit of 40 Halberdiers. They've got a full command and are supported with a detachment of 10 archers. Then got a unit of 10 Inner Circle Knights. They're carrying the standard of discipline. They just have a standard bearer and musician in that squad. Got three Demigriff Knights carrying lances. Uh, they have a musician too. And then a Great Cannon. In rare choices, I have a Hellblaster Volley Gun and a Steam Tank. And that's 1998 points of Empire. Empire deployment is complete. Gone for sort of a bit of a, a refused flank down here, being vastly outnumbered by these Orcs. So out on the flank, I've got the Steam Tank. Uh, next to him is the big unit of Halberdiers with Warrior Priest and just behind the wood, the BSB in there. Archer Detachment behind with the Wizard in them. Got the unit of Inner Circle Knights with the uh, General, uh, sorry, General Warrior Priest is in there too. Then I've got my two artillery pieces, Engineer in the middle to offer his bonuses. And the Demogriffs out holding the flank. With regards to spells, I pretty much just rolled like four fours. So I ended up with uh, no cost, Mr. Fell Masma, Enfeebling Foe, Pit of Shades and Occam's Mind Razor. Ah, looking at the Orcs deployment, they look a bit more congested after Empire kind of restricted them down on the side. We've got Chariot out on the flank with the Doom Diver behind, River Trolls just in front of the unit of Black Orcs, 
the Shaman, BSB, and uh, Big Boss are all in there. Mangler Squig, Night Goblins, big unit of Savage Orcs with the Savage Orc Shaman in there, and the Rock Clubber out on the flank. And spells for the Orcs then, Shell. Yep, so my Savage Orcs know the Fist of Gork. Yep, and um, the Shaman over on this one. Yep, we've got three spells, so I've got Brain Buster, Burster, sorry, the Hand of Gork, and here we go. Very good. Okay, let's roll off for seeing who's going to get the first turn. I'm going to get the plus one to this as I did finish deploying before you. So I've got a two, which becomes a three, and you've got a five. Do you want to go first? Yes. Okay, that's <laughs> Orcs and Goblins, turn one, coming up. Starting off the Orcs turn, we've got some animosity checks. There's only two units which need to test in the army, so do the Savage Orcs first. Oh dear, <laughs> they failed. The one I didn't want. Yeah, okay, roll that then. Let's see what they uh, what they end up doing. So the Savage Orcs are squabbling, and the Night Goblins... Oh, they fail as well. <laughs> this is not a good start for you. Two ones, okay, what do they do then? And it's a three, which is a squabble as well, isn't it? So, um, yeah, there's no way they can make any charges at this point. So they are squabbling too. Okay, we'll do the... Leadership test for the stupidity test for the river trolls then. They do get the um, BSB and yeah, five. They've easily passed. I don't think you've got anything in range, but any charges? No charges. Okay, we'll get the compulsion movements done with the mangler squigs and stuff and we'll come back for some magic. Movement phase is complete. Chariot trolls have all surged forward. Black orcs have moved up to take their position. Mangler squig has gone slathering forwards. Nice 11 inches. And these two squabbling units are just sat at the back. Moving into magic. Let's see how strong the winds are blowing. There you go. Um, eight. Okay, do you want to try your two channels? Uh, none for you. I get three with having my warrior priests. None for me. Okay, eight dice for you, six for me. Do you know what you want to cast or do you want to think? Let us have a think. Okay, what are we casting first? Hand of Gork and five dice. Yeah. Ooh, not irresistible. That's a nice roll. 10, 20. This lets you move a unit and put them somewhere else. Uh, don't really want you to do that. I don't think you've got much else that's going to damage me. I'm going to try with my level four. Um, yeah, dispelled you. Only just, actually, but yes. <laughs> You're dispelled. Okay. Anything else? Yep. Yeah. We're going to do Brain Burster. Yep. Put three dice. Is this the boosted one, then? Yeah. Okay. Wow, another good roll. Uh, 15, 18. Yeah, you've cast that one. Okay, let's just have a quick measure, see who is in range of it. It is my general, the warrior priest who's been selected. It's a uh, three to wound him. Oh, oh there, which you fell. Okay, that takes us to the end of magic. I think there's going to be some artillery coming in against the Empire. Okay, so we're going to go through my... Rock lover on two knights. Yeah, you want the template sort of what on his uh Yep. Sander's head. Okay. See what your scatter is. Oh, it's a misfire for the first one. Mm. Okay. See what you've done to yourself on your misfire chart. Oh, it's a three. Not gonna fire this turn or next. Okay, moving on. Doom Diver, aiming for the same target. I am indeed. Okay. This time, oh, you've gone eight inches off, and then roll your d6 for your glide back in. Go to about three. Two, so you're going to be six inches away. We'll double check. I don't know where you quite have hit them. Yeah, the Doom Diver has ended up sort of down here, and even with the two inch glide, no matter which way it goes, it doesn't have enough to hit either of those units. So that is the end of the shooting phase. There's no combat, so that's the end of Orcs and Goblins turn one. I think I've got off very, very lightly there. Empire movement is complete. Generate five steam points with the steam tank. Spent two of them to move forward. Just wanted to shuffle forward, but the engineer inside had other ideas and he shot forward 10 inches. So hoping for another squabble down here. Uh, over on this side, the Demogriffs did declare a charge against the River Trolls. It was perhaps a little ambitious at 16 inches, but regardless, I didn't make it. They have just uh, stumbled forward four. Everything else has stayed pretty much where it is. The knights shuffle back slightly, just trying to avoid being mangled by this, although I do risk getting boxed in, I suppose, now. Uh, archers and wizards have also just moved up to try and get a bit more range. So, moving on to magic. It is seven, and I'll try my three channels. No, nope, none for me. Well, let's show try her channels and have a think what spells I want to cast. 
Starting off the magic phase, going to try Mystify Miasma down on these Savage Orcs, kind of reduce their initiative. So in two dice, at it. Yep, that is cast. 10, 14. I'm going to let it go. Okay. Let's see how much your initiative comes down by. Oh, just one. Okay. And then I'm going to be horrible and try Pit of Shades. I think my point is going to be sort of about there. So I'm going to try Pit of Shades on them as well. Ooh, okay. It's not irresistible. We're on 8, 10, 18, which takes us to 22. Okay, that's another good roll. 10... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You're only level 3, it takes you to 21. I've cast it. It did not scatter. There are 14 Savage Orcs that are now taking initiative tests to avoid dying with the reduced initiative. It's down to initiative 1. So, looking for some 1s. One. Uh, you got 1. Okay, so that's 13 Savage Orcs that are dragged to their doom. No panic test because of the frenzy and immune to psychology, but that is a fantastic result on them. Moving into shooting, Cannon is going down here at the trolls. We're going uh, 10 inches away from the back of, so it works out on back of his base. Angles, so we are 6 inches from the back of his base, and we bounce 10, which should be more than enough to get through all of them. So I have to roll these one at a time because of the regen saves. So rolling for wounding the first one. Yep, that's a wound. Well, let's show. You want to do your regen save? What are you rolling? <laughs> Typical. Okay, so that one hasn't worked. We'll do the Hellblaster. Only real target it's got is going to be down into the Mangler Squig. Can't see these because of the position of the rock. So roll my three... Artillery dice for that one. So we've got 6, 12, and then we halve those because of the misfire. Except it's not going to be 6 shots because I've got my engineer and I can re-roll that last one. So we'll re-roll it to a 10. Much better. <laughs> 22 shots going into the mangler. With the engineer's assistance, managed 10 hits. Wounding on 3s, being at strength 5. We've only got 3 wounds, so yes... Only just light, that wasn't the most spectacular. Oh, sorry, another one there. Yeah, he is dead. So the Mangler Squig is destroyed, and with it, that takes me to the end of my turn. I think that was incredibly successful for the Empire. Removed the Mangler, decimated the Savage Orcs. Uh, right, let's see what the Orcs do in Orcs turn two. Orcs turn two, let's start off with the animosity test. Savage Orcs first, are they any better this time? Yeah, they're fine to act normally. And the Night Goblins... Yes, they're also okay. Do your stupidity test for the trolls. Uh, nine, yes, because your uh, big boss is in there. Eight, they've got standard discipline, aren't they? So nine, they are okay. All right, any charges? Yep, my chariot into your demigriffs. I will hold. Anything else? Trolls also into your demigriffs. Okay, I will continue to hold. Do you want to roll the chariot first? Indeed. indeed. Uh, 10, 17 is definitely going to make it in with that one. Very nice. And then trolls. See if they can make it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're going to make it in as well. Okay. Charges have gone home against the Demogriffs. Black Orcs have marched up. Night Goblins and uh, Savage Orcs are shuffling around. They did take a leadership test for their frenzy. Past that, so they didn't have to charge down into the steam tank, which also, I forgot to mention in my turn, did fire its cannon down. Managed to get two wounds, but they were both saved with a five-up ward save. That's it for the movement. Let's move into magic. How strong are the winds blowing this time? Five? Okay, not brilliant. I'll try my channels... Um, nope, none for me. Let's see if Shell gets any this time. And none for you either. Okay. Starting with the Hand of Gork on my Night Goblins. Okay. Wow, you're rolling so well. That's what, 10, 16, oh, 22, 25. Yep, that one is cast. Very nice. Okay. Uh, re redeploy them within 3d6, isn't it? So let's see how far of a move they get. Okay, nine inches. Let's let Shavu think, see where you want to put them. There's no more magic anyways, that was the end of your no, no more. end of your spells. Okay. 
Night Goblins have been picked up and placed back down here, which means that they are within 8 inches of the steam tank and the Fanatics are getting fired out. First one, starting from this corner, I'm assuming he's aiming straight for the steam tank. They are indeed. Okay, can't really miss I don't think on this, but let's see how far he goes. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 10 inches, yeah, so he's gone straight through and out the other side. So let's see how many hits he gets on his D6. Four, okay. Um, you're looking for fives to wound, because I am toughness six. So that's, is that only four dice? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, two, uh, it's armor piercing, so I'm on a four up save. Ooh, okay. Past the first one. We'll get him moved, and I guess we're sort of rinsing and repeating with the other two. Absolutely. Second Fnatic came out at slightly more of an angle. He rolled really, really high. He's gone through the steam tank and through the archers, meaning that he ends up down here. So the D6 hits on the steam tank. Okay, only one. That's uh, looking for a five up. Yes, you do. And does it do a wound? Nope, still managed to pass. But you've got D6 down on these guys, so let's see how many hits come in on them. Oh, just one again. Okay. Whoops. Killing on a two this time. Uh, right in the middle. Yeah, so one of my archers is dead. And let's do the final fanatic. Guessing you're putting him similar as before. Absolutely. Okay, let's see how far he goes. Seven. Yeah, he's easily made it through the steam tank. Let's see how many hits we get on him. Two this time. Okay, and looking for fives. One more. Can you take a single wound off me yet? Yeah, yeah, there you are. Finally lost a wound. Doom Diver has fired down on the knights. Managed to get a direct hit. Only got a one for the D6 hits, though. Looking for a two to kill a knight? Yes. One knight is dead. Rock Lobber cannot fire because of its misfire last turn, which means we're down to combat on this side. Let's start with the impact hits from your chariot, then. Ooh, six. Very nice. With your scythe wheels, gives you seven, so... Grab your seven dice. Looking for threes to wound. Um, what have you got? Three. Mm -hmm. Not rolling brilliantly hot there. Strength five, it's a minus two, puts me on a three up save. Yep, one of them has lost a wound. Okay, we'll work out the initiative order for who's going to be swinging next and get those ones resolved. So the demographics and the chariots have all attacked. I put two of the demographics back into the chariot. Open I would kill that. Only managed to get two wounds through. The boars and riders on the chariots didn't manage to do anything back, uh, thanks to my high armor. And the one demograph that went into the trolls didn't really manage to hit very much, thanks to their minus one, and did no wounds. Which means there are now 18 attacks from the trolls coming back into these demographics, hitting on fours. And wounding on threes. Looking for three up armor saves. Uh, yes, only fail one, so it puts him down to one wound. Okay, combat res on this one. I have managed to get two for the wounds, uh, and that's it. You've got one for charges, two, three for wounds, four for rank. Uh, you beat me by three. We'll double check that, but I think I'm going to be on a leadership test at minus three there. My terrible maths shining through again. It's only a minus two for me. Um, leadership six. No, I'm well out of range of a general or a BSP or anything like that. So I am turning and fleeing. Do you want to pursue me? Yes. With both? Your course. Okay, right. Um, let's see how far I run. Grab myself another dice. I am off. Ooh, I've gone a full 12 inches. It's probably going to take me off the board, to be fair. But um, let's try your chariot, see how rapid they are. <laughs> Not far behind at an 11. Okay, and then the trolls. Oh, lumbering a slow five inches. I think it will be a panic test down here for these guys too. We'll get all that resolved. That's going to be the end of Orcs turn two. Empire turn two coming up next. Empire turn two. Demogriffs were chased off the table, as has the chariot. That's where he's going to come back on next time. Trolls have moved forward. Thanks to the engineer, though, the uh, cannon did manage to pass his panic test for the unit being destroyed. So, starting off with my steam points, I'm going to go for the full five on the steam tank. Yep, managed to generate those. And I'm going to be spending three on the engine to try and get down into these savage orcs. I need... 12 to get in. Oh, yes. 13 inches. 
he has made it in. We're also going to be doing a charge from the uh, halberdiers who are going into the uh, night goblins. Or let's shall do stand and shoot with them and get the rest of my movement done. Movement phase complete. Steam tank obviously making it in, as did these guys. They're at a slight angle as they had to sort of wiggle the only way they could avoid not touching the uh, fanatic who I just managed to avoid there. We've rolled for the wood, which is a fungus forest, which now means I will suffer from stupidity. Um, we we're going to assume that's as of next turn because you take your stupidity test at the start of the turn, don't you? So um, we're going to think that's from the start of next turn, but. We'll double check with that one. And the knights have moved forward. We are 13 or 14. It'd be a 14 for the charge from the Black Orcs, making them need a 10. So hopefully far enough away from them. Move into magic. It's a six. Try my three channels. Nope, still no channels for me. See if you get any lucky with yours. Nope, none for you either. Opening up magic with Enfeebling Foe down onto these guys to reduce their strength. Oh gosh, that's a pretty ugly roll. 10, 14. Um, how many do you want to try and throw at that? I'm going to roll four. Yeah. Yeah, that one is dispelled. Okay. And I will try Mr. Farmasma on your weapon skill. Same unit. Uh, three. <laughs> Goodness me. Just, just cast. Hell Blaster down into these trolls. How many shots? Two. Ugh, I will use the engineer's reroll on that one. Twelve. Twenty shots down into those trolls. With the engineer's assistance, managed to get a decent number of hits, resulting in eight wounds that have gone through. Looking for the four up regen saves. Uh, okay, so you've lost. One and a half. How many grape shot shots does he get? Eight. Nice. Which managed to cause three more wounds. Looking for the regens. No. So that finishes him off. Whoops. And leaves him down on two wounds remaining. Okay. Made a bit of a start on them. That's probably about as, uh, as good as I could have expected. Let's go round to the combat. We'll do the steam tank first because I think that one's going to be bit more of a foregone conclusion, really. Rolling for my impact hits. D6, 3, plus 3D3, due to the steam points spent coming in, for another 1, 2, 3, 4. Looking for 2s to wound. Yes, so 7 of your 5-up uh, ward saves. Um, you managed to pass 3, but that is... Oh, it's a fail. 4 more Savage Orcs who are cut down. So my engineer has the highest initiative. He's going to spend the last two steam points from this one into the steam gun. Uh, it's only four, and it's only strength three, so I'm winning on fives, of which I do manage to make one, if you can pass your regen save. Uh, sorry, not regen, ward save, which you can't. That's one more. I'll take it from that side, I guess. One more who is dead. Okay, um, and then my engineer himself will give you a little bop on the nose. Oh, that one's... Gone, but it was a six. Can he wound? Ugh. Um, oh, I don't know if I strength three or four. Three. So there is no wound for me there. The orcs themselves have swung. Being big uns, they've slightly different stats to the shaman. Uh, managed to get five hits. Yep. yep, more two wounds. Looking for fives to wound. Uh, just the one wound. Minus two. Puts one of three up. Which I fail, taking me down to eight wounds remaining. And then we'll do your attack for your shaman as well. Who hits? And he's only strength four, so it's a six for him to wound. That's strength four with the choppers. No, no wounds for him. Well, I have resoundly beaten you in combat there. Um, I got five for the kills. I don't think I can. Yeah, six for the charge. You got one for wounds, two for rank, three for your standard. Um, so I've beaten you by three, but you do have the complete ranks, which I don't. So you are going to be steadfast if you can stay there. Uh, ten. No, not a chance with that one. You're going to be too far away from this guy. Oh dear, let's see how far they turn and run. Eight inches, I don't get to pursue you, so uh, they're turning and scampering off. 
Savage Orcs have been moved as they turn to flee, and the combat in the middle with the Night Goblins was resolved. Resounding victory for the Halberdiers, as was, was expected, really. Got, I think, like nine points of combat res benefit over them, and they're out of range of the General or the BSB, so it was the Snake Eyes, which they failed, and they were cut down. Halberdiers have pursued them, cut them to pieces, and run into this forest, which is a blood forest. Orcs and Goblins, turn three. They don't actually have a huge amount on the uh, on the table anymore. The good news is there's no animosity. Bad news is that's because all the units that could do it are either dead or fled. But anyway, um, your leadership test for these, stupidity test for these trolls who have charged off out of the... Ooh, five. No, they just, um, just fell that one. So they're going to stumble forward D6 inches. We'll do that in a second. Any charges? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for your knights just so that I'm out of their way. Yeah, probably facing double charge if you, uh, you stumble forward. Okay, you need a 10 to get in. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, yes, there it is. The Black Orcs have made it into the Knights. So that might be the little bit of luck that uh, the Orcs needed. Movement phase is complete. The Trolls over this side stumbled forwards. The Chariot has come back on, but obviously couldn't make any charges. This charge went home. The Savage Orcs managed to rally, and they have reformed to face the Steam Tank. And the Fanatics uh, didn't really do what Shell needed them to. One of them crashed into the church and died. Other one's gone this way, and the third one has moved away from the one unit that they were near. So we'll see if they manage to do much else. Let's go into magic. How strong are the winds blowing? Uh, not brilliantly. Okay, I'll try my channels. No, none of us have still managed to channel anything yet. So, let's, uh... yeah, there we are. Jinxed you with that one, didn't I? Okay, four dice for you, three for me. Okay, so I'm going to cast, here we go. Here we go, sorry, with four dice. Wow. Irresistibly cast, okay. Well done, that's cast. Let's see what you've done to yourself. There's no point rolling up for the range for it because it's only that unit that's uh, that's in there. What's the wizard done? Four orcs and one knight killed in that calamitous detonation and a wound on the wizard himself. Ends the magic phase, takes us into shooting. Rock lobber going first. Yep, middle of your Splat. Ideas. Okay, let's see how accurate it is. Da -da -da. Oh, it's misfired again. <laughs> let's see what it's done to itself this time. And let's see if your Doom Diver can do any better then. Come on. Okay, and let's see how far you can glide, should you want to. Uh, one inch, so you're basically going to be three inches off wherever that is. We'll see what you get, but you should have hit the unit. My Blackhawk Big Boss is issuing a challenge. Okay, I will accept with my... Uh, Warrior Priest, I don't have a champion in the unit, so it was either him or nobody. So yeah, my Warrior Priest will accept your challenge, and we'll have a, a bit of a general off and see how we do with that. Halfway through this combat, Knights managed to get uh, one kill through onto the Black Orcs, and a horse managed to do one wound on the BSB. Um, in return, the BSB and the Shaman between them managed to kill one Knight. That was the BSB with his great weapon. The Black Orcs were electing to use their great weapons, so they're attacking now. Um, the champion in that one, the big boss dude, is going to be done separately just because he does have a higher weapon skill. So, rolling the troopers attacks first, hitting on fours. And you can re-roll the misses because of your spell. Yep. Okay, and you converted one more with that, if I could... Point the camera in the right place. Um, okay, so that is strength. Oh, what strength are you like? Six, seven. So yeah, you're killing on twos. Uh, we managed to get three. And these are going to be on like a five, six up save now. Uh, I'll have to double check and work it out because I have actually managed to make a couple of those. So I did manage to save a couple of those knights first time around from the boys, but then the unit champion has swung back as well. So I've lost five so far. Takes us up to the challenge. So the Black Orc Big Boss is swinging first. Four attacks thanks to his Sword of Battle. Uh, hitting on fours, though, because I have the White Cloak, which is the minus one. Um, but you can reroll your two threes with your spell. 
Okay, one of them helped. And then your strength, uh, what, strength four? Will it be strength five with your chopper's rule? Uh, against my toughness four, so threes to wound. Yep. That is three wounds at minus two. I'm on a th uh, three up, so it becomes a five up with a five up ward. Huh. First time round. Warrior Priest has swung back, managed to get one wound through. Armor saver has been failed, but the big boss does have the Opal Amulet. Can he save it on a four plus? Yes, he can. No wounds taken there. Do my, uh, my steed, just in case. You never know. No. Right. Let's work out some combat resolution. I don't think it's looking good for the Empire. I lost five knights. Um, you got six for charges, seven for standard, eight for BSB, nine, ten for your ranks. And working out the score for the Empire, I got two for kills, three for standard. That's it. I got three. So I've lost by, like, ten. <laughs> or seven, at least. I've lost by a lot. I'm on a snake eyes to stay here. I don't think I'm going to be within range of that BSB. B. Oh, come on, guys. No, not with a six. I double checked the measurements, but I think I'm going to be too far away from the BSB and I'm going to be turning to flee. Assuming that I am, I take it you're going to be trying to chase me down? Oh, yes. Okay. Let's, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll measure to see if I'm within range first, but I think I'm being very optimistic here. It was close, but not quite within 12 inches of the BSB, so I am fleeing. I am off. Seven inches. Let's see if you can catch me. How fast are you running? Oh, it's a 12. Yeah, they've been hacked down. There goes my general. And it brings you right down here. I mean, to be fair, you needed that because everything else was looking bleak for you, I suppose. That takes us to the end of your turn. And it's going to be Empire turn three once we get these guys all tidied up. Empire turn three, that combat result in the middle has certainly changed things somewhat. I've lost my heavy hitting units in terms of my demogriffs and my knights. I do still have the steam tank. We'll start with him generating steam points. I'm still going to go for five. Yes, six. He does that. I don't have any charges, but I will be spending three of my steam points to try and get back down into these savage orcs. Not quite sure what I need, but a 12 inches should easily get me in there. Empire movement is complete. Steam tank's gone crashing back in. Halberdiers uh, have done a bit of a reform and the wizard and his archer bodyguard have tried to get out of the way of the fanatics and the black orcs. In the magic phase, uh, rolled sort of averagely for wins. Did manage to get a channel. I've got six dice to shells four and I am going to throw all six at Pit of Shades. I'm trying to Pit of Shades your black orc unit. Ooh, I didn't get it irresistibly. Dispel scroll. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot you have one of those. Wise choice to use it there. Uh, that's the end of my magic phase. So the engineer is going to assist the Hellblaster again. Well, for the Hellblaster, shots going into the uh, chariot. Oh, yes. Which I've got six. Reroll that one. <laughs> and, oh, no. Two misfires. Rolled on the misfire, and he blew himself up. Brilliant. Roll a panic test for the engineer, who is fine, and the cannon, who are also fine. I think the cannon is going to do a grape shot into the chariot as well. Let's just try and get rid of that. How many shots do I get? Oh, only two. Can't really miss, can I? Yep, it seems I can. Force to wound at strength five. So that's one wound at minus two. It is armor piercing, which goes straight through your armor, leaving the chariot on one wound remaining. Uh, that's the end of the shooting then. So we'll come back over for the combat down here. Start off with my D6 plus 3D3 impact hits. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven this time. Not bad. Looking for twos to wound. That's not bad at all, is it? What's that? Ten, three, six, nine. Ten ward saves to try and keep these guys alive. Oh, which you've not made a bad effort. Made three, but you've lost three, five, seven of them are slain. Steam gun has fired as well. It managed to get four more wounds with that. Can you make any of these ward saves? Uh, two, yeah, but another two are slain. 
Engineers attacks. Come on, fella. No, no, not off my weapon skill. Okay, there's considerably less attacks coming back into me now. Let's let these guys have a swing. Can you do another wound? Take me down another bracket. No, is the answer to that question. They didn't manage to get anything back, even with the chopper's rule. Uh, lost combat by a lot there, but you do still have one complete rank, which is one more than I've got, so you are still going to be steadfast. Looking for leadership seven to stay here. Oh, no. <laughs> Eleven. They're gone. Uh, I can't pursue, but let's see how far you run. Are you going to make it off the edge of the board? Oh, probably not with the snake eyes, to be fair. You're still just loitering somewhere around here. Okay, that's it for combats, and that's it for turn three. Not a whole lot left for either side, it feels like now. We've definitely thinned out the battlefield. See what happens in turn four. Orc movement phase is complete. The trolls failed their stupidity test again, uh, and I've just stumbled forward one inch. The chariot couldn't quite see the engineer. We had to get really, really check that one, but he couldn't see him, so he's just spun around, ready for an easy charge next time. Black orcs have reformed to face back into the fight, and the savage orcs over here, they didn't manage to rally. They're on a double one due to being less than 25% of their starting strength, and they fled off the board. So, magic. Let's see what you can do with that. Uh, okay, a little bit stronger this time. Can you get your channel? No, not for you. I'll try my two channels. Yeah, I get one. Brilliant. Kicking off magic phase. Hand of Gork being cast on the shaman and his own unit. Okay, okay it's a pretty good roll. Three, six, nine. There, uh, maths. <laughs> 18, 21. That'll let you pick them up and stick them anywhere within 3d6. Hmm. I am gonna... Oh, ah. I'm a six dice to spell. Uh, yes, ten, nineteen. Oh, well, more than nineteen. Anyway, that one's gone. Um, anything else you want to try and cast? Yep, I'm going to do my brain buster. Okay, who are you trying to snipe? My wizard. My wizard. Yep. Um, okay. Yeah, I can't can't dispel that one. That one's cast. It's a single strength five hit. So looking to. <laughs> a one. You don't wound him. Okay, let's hope that your shooting is a little bit better. The rock lob by that side, it didn't block last time, it just meant it couldn't fire that turn. So do you want to start with him? Do indeed. Straight back into the halberd Yeah, let's do okay. this. Um, no, that's going to end up. Miles over there, landing on the ruins. Okay. Doom Diver. Yay. <laughs> oh no. What's, What's the point of these? What's it done? Ah, uh, what is it? It's a one. And with the Doom Diver destroying itself, there was no combat. That took us to the end of Orc's turn. Empire turn. I will start with the Steam Points. Still going to go for five. Yep. And I will be spending three to turn him round and start heading back down towards those Black Orcs. I don't have any other charges. Um, so we'll get all those guys moved and come back when my magic's done. Into magic, I almost feel cruel doing this, but it's going to be a six dice, pit of shades, down onto those black orcs. I need them gone. It's Again, it's not irresistibly cast. Um, let's just work out what I'm on there. It's still a pretty good roll, though. I'm on, what, 10, 20, 28, 32. 32. Uh, I think you're going to try and throw all the dice at that to dispel it. I am indeed. Yep. There we go. And you didn't get the irresistible dispel, so uh, yeah, I've comfortably beaten your roll there. Pit of Shades is cast, so it scatters d6. We're going to be aiming for sort of middle of the guy's head. Oh, it's another hit. Okay, work out how many hit with this one. Six Black Orcs and the champion who didn't manage to look out, sir, dragged to their doom. There's no panic due to immune psychology. Going on to shooting, we're going to try another grape shot going into this chariot with my engineer's assistance if we need it. Uh, six, I'm not going to re-roll that one, we'll take that. Uh, he can lend his aim. Ooh. Okay, pretty good. And strength five, looking for... Falls to wound to destroy it. Yeah, just, just one. 
but it only had one wound left. The chariot is destroyed. Again, they're stupid, so there's no panic for them. Slowly whittling you down, slowly whittling you down. The rest of the shooting, we'll do a cannon shot from the steam tank. He's got two points left and lined up on your shaman. So I think we'll go to eight inches from the back of his base. Oh, typical. So I've, I've overshot him and at two inches, I've probably overshot the unit, but just in case I haven't, I've possibly hit one. We'll double check on him. So the cannon did overshoot with its shot, but the archers managed to fell one black orc. And that is the end of the turn for the Empire. Orcs turn five. No animosity still. Obviously they've gone, so it's the stupidity test for the trolls. Can they... Nope, they are still stupid. Let's just see how far they stumble forwards this time. Just another one inch. They just really are drooling and staggering along. Okay, any charges? One charge. Okay, what are we doing? The Black Orcs into the Habardiers. You need an 11. Can you do it? No. Okay, yep, I'm going to go hand of court and I'm playing six. No irresistible again. Okay. Well, you're on, you're on 7, 10, 15, 18, 21. Uh, I don't have a spell scroll in my list. Oh, God, no irresistible again, but I think I've done you. 10, 20, 21, 25. Yep, that is dispelled. Um, you've got what, one dice left. You want to try brain bustering me again? I will indeed. On my mage, yeah. Um, eight. Yeah, you've cast it. Nothing I can do about that one, because I don't have any dice left. Let's see if you can wound me this time. Hey, you've caused a wound. I have a talisman of preservation. Which doesn't work. No. My wizard's lost a wound. Well done. And into the shooting phase. Yep, got my rock lobber into your halberdiers. Let's see if it can actually... Come on. <laughs> no. I mean, it possibly hit some archers. Let's have a look. Didn't hit any archers, but importantly for that rock lobber, it wasn't a misfire either, was it? So uh, that's it. That's all that the orcs can do on their turn five. Empire turn five, next. Starting off Empire turn, going to be spending, uh, sorry, trying to generate four steam points for the steam tank. Yes, he's managed that. I don't have any charges. I, I don't think, do I? Mm, it's a long way. I need a nine to get the halberdiers in, and you would probably chomp through a lot of me. I would be steadfast, but it gives you an, no, it gives you an opportunity to kill my other stuff. So no, no charges, just the two points on the steam engine. Who's going to go forwards? Seven. Movement is complete. Archer's shuffled round just to sort of support the steam tank that's probably overextended itself again a little bit. Halberdiers shuffled backwards just to try and keep that charge range there. Wins the magic. Ooh, it's a powerful one this time. No point me trying to channel. Let's shall have her go and we'll see what I can cast. Starting with a four dice boosted uh, Miasma down on the Black Orcs. Going for all four of their characteristics. Yeah, that is ten. Sixteen, you're going to try and dispel that one? No, that was ten. Okay, sixteen and it goes down by two. Okay. Uh, whoops, I lost a two. Let's take a two on it for that one. Um, what do I want to do next? I think... I think it's going to have to be Pit of Shades again. Sorry, but I'm not really sorry. Pit of Shades, right on the middle. Guy behind the... Uh, oh, on your the standard bearer's head. And still no irresistible, and that is definitely going to be dispellable from your guys. So what are we on? 10, 14... Sorry, yeah, 14... 18. I take it you're throwing all six at that. I oh, am. Yeah. Going for it. Um, no. Again, no irresistible. So we only had one miscast all game, haven't we? Uh, but you're on, yeah, 16, 18. Uh, yeah. Plenty. It's dispelled. That one doesn't go off. Okay, I've got two dice left. What can I cast with that? Let's try hmm, Enfeebling Foe on them just to bring down your strength. Uh, six, eight, plus four, ten. That one is cast as well. Your strength goes down by three. Nice. And moving into the shooting phase, we are going to try with the steam tank again. This time I lined up on the war boss. Going to go... 
how far am I going to go? I'm going to go 10 inches from the back of his base this time. So I'm eight inches away from the back and I bounce four. So I've fallen well short. Uh, let's do this one down here. I'm firing one inch. Hmm. Oh no, I've well overshot. <laughs> Final turn for the orcs and goblins. A stupidity test down here for these trolls. Can they pass it? No, they can't. Any charges? We do indeed. What yes. are you going with? Black orcs charging your steam tank. Okay. You have to roll pretty well because the miasma has reduced your movement by one, hasn't it? So. Yeah. Oh. No. Oop. We will we'll double check, but I'm pretty sure with a three, four, five, yeah, you're not within five inches. We'll stumble you forward an inch, and then we'll let you do your magic shooting, see if you can get anything else, but I think that's pretty much the end of the game for the Orcs. Magic phase, what are we doing? Oh, hand of Gork on my unit over there. Okay, we've only got three for the Winds of Magic, so there's not exactly a lot of Paradise going around this time. Let's see. Ooh. Wow, that's because I said... There's not had any miscasts, so uh, okay, we will resolve the spell effects first. So it's uh, three dice to see how far you get to move them. Uh, three, six, seven inches that they get to redeploy. Okay, we'll get those guys moved and we'll roll for the miscast. So the orcs have jumped through the hand of Mork over just to the side, definitely out of charge range of me, and it's going to be awkward with the... Steam tank going through the forest. So, importantly, let's see what you've done on the miscast. Oh, can't see that one. It's a four-dimensional cascade. Oh dear, that's the large template, and there's a lot of strength 10 hits, and then potentially your wizard is going to get sucked into the void and destroyed. Only two black orcs were killed in that explosion, and the shaman lost one more wound. But importantly, does he remain on the table? We plus uh, no one two three. He's gone. He gets sucked into the void and he is destroyed. Okay, we've got uh, a rock lobber still to fire. That phenomenal piece of artillery that has done so well for you all game. What would you like to shoot at? Your steam tank. Yeah, go for the strength nine with it. Okay, let's see if it can finally Do get something. on target. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you've got a hit. You've actually hit the steam tank. Okay, now the important one. Can you wound it? Please. Yes, you've managed to wound it. <laughs> so it's D6 damage down onto the steam tank for two wounds. Okay, puts him down to six. Well, at least it's finally actually hit and damaged something. You are clobber. But uh, there we go. And that's it for the orcs and goblins. That's the end of... Turn six for them. Nothing further that they can really do in this battle. We've got one final turn now for the Empire. Empire turn six. Last turn of the game coming up. Just a bit of a summary turn for the Empire here, as there isn't really a whole lot that I can actually achieve in this game now. So nothing's moved. Generated a couple of steam points on the steam tank, which has turned around and gone off this way. Logic being that these guys are immune to psychology. I'm not going to kill them all to a man anyway, and I risk blowing myself up charging through the wood. So uh, magic, likewise, there's no spells that are really going to have any significance. There is the potential for a pit of shades. I can't panic them due to being immune to psychology, and I'm not going to kill them all. So we're going to, we're going to forget it with that one, and I don't have the range down there. And I just risk blowing myself up, to be honest. So I'm going to try a, a shot down at the rock lobber, 10 inches from the back of it. So I'm, oops, eight inches from the back of it. Oh, and it sticks in the ground. That's it. I'm happy with that for the end of the game, I think. Not a whole lot more that I can do. So, oh, we might as well fire the cannon down here. Although, again, I, it's kind of irrelevant because I'm not going to kill them all. They're not going to panic due to stupidity. And I just risk blowing myself up. So, going to leave it at that. That is the end of turn six. We'll get the calculators out, work out the victory points, and be back in a minute. And this is what remains of both armies as the dust settles over the battlefield. It was closer than I thought, actually, by the end. The Empire managed to get 1,100 and something points. 
orcs 850 something so empire have won um not by sort of a, a huge huge margin as it kind of looks like it should be based with how little is left on the board for the orcs here it's the black orcs um that are worth a lot of points and the characters and the the river trolls too uh but likewise empire still had a healthy healthy amount of points left on the board well over half their army's worth of points still on the board for them in terms of bonus points for the league it's the orcs and goblins who get some of the extra points this time as they have managed to kill the enemy general chasing down my mounted warrior priest both of the battle standards are still on the board though so there's no extra points gone for that one Hope you enjoyed that game. Um, we've got some more armies that we're hoping to get back on the channel again soon, especially now that COVID restrictions are, are starting to lift and things are getting a little bit more back to normal in the UK. So hope we have Jay back on with some more of his armies and his new um, Lizardman army to show you as well. Also been doing quite a bit of work on the High Elves, who we had one outing with them so far. We've got a few more units for those. I'm still busy painting away in some spare time to get them tabletop ready. So I hope to have them on the channel again before too long too. As always, please like, comment and subscribe. It really, really does help us just giving us a thumbs up or putting a, something in the comments below. It really helps spread sort of news and awareness for the channel, which is fantastic. Thank you very much all and see you next time.